race wars, pro-Trump supporters versus Black Lives Matter activists in Portland, Oregon. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rabracha Kwadash. Citations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity and patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. One person shot dead in Portland, Oregon, near site of showdown between pro-Trump and Black Lives Matter activists. So it's getting pretty hot down there in Portland, Oregon. And if you can't see that those race wars are brewing up, that that is getting, these race wars are getting hotter and hotter, then and you need to fast and pray, man, because we we're, we're we're definitely nearing the end of the so-called white man's kingdom, the so-called white men who are the biblical Edomites of the Holy Scriptures. A man was shot and killed in Portland amid heightened tensions in the city that has seen clashes between members of the pro-Trump car parade AKA pro Trump supporters and counter protesters, which will be the, the uh, so called Black Lives Matter protesters. It's unclear if the incident is linked to the demonstrators. Portland police officers heard sounds of gunfire from the area of Southeast 3rd Avenue and Southwest Outer Street. They responded and located a victim with a gunshot wound to the chest. Medical responded and determined that the victim was deceased, police said in a statement. Now, this could have been set up by the U.S. government. This could be crisis actors playing this out. Or this could have actually happened where somebody actually died. Salakia. Or it could have been an agent provocateur amidst the group that set off a, gu a, a gunshot. I mean, who knows? Who knows what, what could have ha uh, happened? Okay. But either way it goes, this is only going to stir up even more tensions between the Israelites, which are the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians which are the nation of Israel and and uh, the, the, the tensions between them and the, the uh, uh, going up against the nation of Edom, which are your so-called white people, the biblical Edomites. So the nation of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Indians versus the nation of Edom. So this right here will only stir up tensions between both nations of people. Okay. It says the victim, a white male was shot as it came. Ooh, hold up. This was an Edomite that got shot. Okay, this was an Edomite that got shot. <sighs> Damn, this was an Edomite that got shot. Now, 
again, this could be real or or it, 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 it could be just crisis actors. Who knows? This could be all a setup to stir up racial tensions between the nation of Edom, which are you so-called white people, and the nation of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. The victim, an Edomite male, was shot as it came to the showdown between Trump supporters that drove into the city on Saturday evening as part of a pro-Trump caravan and so-called Black Lives Matter protesters intent and impeding their passage, okay? It was not immediately clear whether the deadly shooting was connected to the political confrontation in downtown Portland. Some reports said the victim was wearing a hat of the Patriot Prayers Group, indicating that he was a Trump supporter. There you go, okay? I mean, you can already see how this is going to unfold, man. They should not regard their kings nor princes. You think you think Jake is, is starting to care about Trump now? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, you still got some Jakes out there that care, that care about Trump. But hey, like the scriptures say, man, uh, though hand join in hand, though, though the hand join in hand with the wicked, uh, uh, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Just roughly paraphrasing, as it tells you in the book of Proverbs. So, hey, if it, I mean, if you were Israelite and you still a Trump supporter, bruh, though hand join in hand, you're not going to you're not going to go unpunished. OK, Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai is going to punish you. Hey, you might become one of the victims of these race wars, man. You might die by your own people because in that day. Jake is going to see you as a traitor, man. <laughs> okay. Police earlier advised residents to avoid areas where scuffles have been taking place uh, uh, throughout the day. Now, notice how they say scuffles. So it's been more than one, more than one fight going on down there, man. So, the, hey, these race wars are getting hot, brothers. It's getting hot. Now, before I close this out, there is a scripture I would like to get. with me for one moment, okay? Second Esdras. We're almost out of here, brothers. Stay strong. I think you know what I'm about to get. Hey, man, I'm sick and tired of this kingdom, man. Especially these two-third niggas, man. Especially these these damn gutter rats. Especially these Edomites. I can't stand looking at Amalekites, man. Every time I see their nose, I get I get infuriated. I get infuriated just looking at their face. I hate Amalekites. And when I say Amalekites, I'm talking about you people who go around telling the world you're Jewish and you're not. You're not Jewish, okay? The real Jews are so-called black people according to the Holy Scriptures. Okay? This is the book of 2nd Asterisk, chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. Right, the sword and their destruction is talking about the nuclear destruction, which is going to take place during World War III. And one people, but before the nuclear destruction, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. This is what we're this this is what we're witnessing, brothers. One people that are standing up against another with swords in their hands. You see? 
okay? So one people shall stand up and fight against another. Pro-Trump supporters versus the Black Lives Matter activists or Black Lives Matters activists. Okay? So the one people, which is the one people is talking about Israel, which are the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, shall stand up and fight against another. Okay, the another is talking about the nation of Edom, which are you so-called white people, okay? And swords in their hands. The modern day sword is what? The gun. And so far, one Edomite got put to death. So these race wars are getting hot, man. Oh, 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 there's one more. There's one more. Bear with me for one moment, man. Hey, this, 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 this is getting very, very, very interesting. These prophecies that are taking place. Genesis chapter 49, and I believe verse 7. All right, yeah, just, just, yeah. I, I love what I'm seeing, man. <laughs> Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Uh, Genesis chapter 49, verse 9. Judah is a lion's whelp. A lion's whelp is a lion's roar. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he crouched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? The answer is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The Mosai and the Son are the ones that are putting the spirit on, on, on Jake to, to. And you know, I've said this earlier, man. I said this earlier in, in, in a video that I did yesterday. Didn't I say that uh, the Most High was going to start putting the spirit on Jake to start physically 